Hey everybody, this is Mr. MathBlog and this lesson is Model Equivalent Fractions. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Okay, here's our, our common core strand and so how can we use models to find equivalent fractions? So here we're going to uh, use some paper folding here. So you're going to need a, a sheet of paper and something to um, uh, shade aside with. So you know, a pencil or something, or even just a, a you know something that you can shade half of the paper. So, uh, two or more fractions that uh, uh, name the same amount are called equivalent fractions. You can use a sheet of paper to model fractions that are equivalent to a half. All right. So first, let's fold this sheet of paper into two equal parts. So let's just imagine there's a sheet of paper, and I'm going to fold it right in half right there. Okay. And so there it is right there. Okay. So if you can do that with your paper there. And then so that gives us how many equal parts are here now? This part and this part. Well, there's two equal parts, and each part is going to be one half of the paper. See how that's a half? And that's a half right there? Okay. So shade one of the halves and write half on each piece. Okay. So we shaded this half over here, and we wrote one half on each piece. So this is half the paper, and this is half the paper. Okay. We're going to do some more folding here. So next, fold the paper in half. Uh, uh, two times. So here's one time. We already did it one time. So go ahead and fold it back over, this piece back over. And then you're going to fold the top down over here on this piece right here. Okay? So fold this side back over here. And then after you do that, fold the top down over here. And then unfold it, you guys. It's going to do that for us. Okay? And then after you unfold it. So now, how many equal parts are there? There are one, two, three, four. So there's four equal parts, and each part ends up becoming one-fourth of the paper, okay? So write one-fourth in each of these fourths. All right, well, so there's one-fourth in each of these fourths, okay. All right, so now look at the shaded parts right here. Remember, this first part right here, which was one-half right here, this one-half is going to equal these two fourths right here. There's two of them right there. Okay, so one half equals two of the fourths, or two fourths. Okay, so these are equivalent fractions. One half and two fourths are equivalent to each other because they're the same piece of paper right here. Okay, so now we're going to fold the paper in half again. So let's go ahead and fold this side back over here and fold this side over here. Okay, so then you have uh, then you have like a little piece right there. Now fold this piece in half. So go ahead and fold this over here. Okay, and then when you unfold it, it's going to look like that. Okay, all right. So uh, now there are how many equal pieces? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight equal pieces, and since they're equal, then each piece is one eighth. Okay, now it gets kind of messy. We're going to write one eighth on each of these pieces. Okay, so there's one eighth right there. Okay, now remember in the beginning we had this whole shaded area was half the paper right here. Half the paper was two of the fourth size pieces and so now it's going to want us to compare uh, other fractions that are equivalent to one half. Okay, so here's half the paper right here. So half the paper, um, okay, now it also equaled one, uh, two fourths of the paper. Okay, so here's where we folded it in half twice right there. So it equaled two fourths of the paper. So we'll go ahead and put that in there. And then when we folded it in half again, it gave us these eight size pieces. And so, so this half of the paper that we shaded is also equal to four of these eight size pieces. So uh, those are all equivalent fractions. One half is equivalent to two fourths, and it's equivalent to four eighths as well. Okay, so um, explain how many uh, one eighth parts are equivalent to one one fourth part in our paper. Okay, well let's get that picture back up here. So two or more numbers that have the same value uh, or name the same amount are called equivalent. Okay, so here's our two fractions here. So um, here it is where we have uh, it in fourth size pieces, and here it is where we have it in, in uh, eighth size pieces. So it takes two of the eighth size pieces to make this one one fourth size piece. So we need two eighth size pieces for the one fourth size piece. Okay. All right, let's analyze. Uh, what do you notice about how the numerators change for the shaded part as we fold the paper? All right, so one half became um, two fourths. See, this one half became two fourths, and then the, the two fourths became these four eighth size right here. So what's happening with the numerators? Well, the numerators are doubling each time, each time that we fold the paper in half. 
Okay, so what does this say about the change in the number of parts? Well, they are doubling and they're, or they're increasing by two for each fold that we do in half. How did the denominators change for the shaded parts? Well, look, the two became the four, became the eight. Well, those are also doubling, you guys. The denominators are also doubling. And so what does this say about the change in the size of the parts? Well, look what's happening in the size of the parts. This part became, look, it became two parts right here, and then it became four parts right here. So what's happening is they become half the original size. So they're half as big with each fold. Okay, so we can use a number line to find equivalent fractions too. So find a fraction that's equivalent to two-thirds. Okay, well, here's a, a fraction that goes from zero to one. So let's go ahead and cut it up into thirds. Okay, so this is still zero, and this is still one. But we cut it up into equal thirds, okay? So here is, this would be one-third, this would be another one-third, so two-thirds, and this would be another one-third or three-thirds right there, okay? So explain how the number of sixths in the distance on the number line is related to the number of thirds in the same distance. Well, uh, six size pieces, if I did a one-sixth, you guys, the denominator is twice as big as one-third, so that means it's going to be half as long. So half as long would be right there. It would be one-sixth right there. Let's go ahead and put that in there. So the number of sixth is half the distance as the number of thirds. Okay. So let's draw a point on the number line to represent the distance two-thirds. Well, we've already done that right there. And divide the number line up into six at each halfway point, labeling the points. Okay. So here's one-sixth right here. Okay. And then uh, let's go ahead and cut this in half right here and cut this in half. Okay, so if this is 1 6, this would be 2 6 right here. So let's go ahead and put 2 6 above on top right there. Okay, and then um, uh, that's going to be 3 6 and then 4 6. And uh, 3 6 is also the same as 1 half right there because uh, uh, we went from 0 to 3 and this is halfway in the middle. 3 over 6 is the same as a half. Okay, there's 4 6. 5, 6, and finally 6, 6, which is the same as 3 thirds, which is the same as 1. Okay, so identify the fraction that names the same point as 2 thirds. 2 thirds is the same as 4, 6 right there, okay? So uh, 2 thirds is equivalent to 4, 6. All right, you guys, take care.